we're going to try and do a nice little trick shot from here. Oh, that was a shot. I think I deserve a medal for that one. Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today we are checking out Recycling Center Simulator. Now this is a prologue. Now a while ago I did play the demo, I only played it for a brief period of time and I really enjoyed what I saw so I'm very excited to check out this prologue. So let's go ahead and see what it's like to be part of a recycling center. So welcome, we are thrilled to have experienced a preview of our game. So the prologue just offers a glimpse into the exciting world of recycling management. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's see what we have. So it looks like we have some sort of conveyor belt machine system here. We've got our truck um, machines storage over here. And we can use a pallet truck. So that's pretty cool. That seems easy enough to use. Okay, so let's go outside and find the boxed machine and grab it. Um, I'm guessing this is it. So a boxed shredding machine for paper. Now build it onto the proper area. Okay, so let's build and... I assume we kind of want it some sort of organized so i think just there will be good so to gather scrap open your computer find a suitable scrap deals and negotiate with the owner to lower the price you can only have one active deal at a time okay so let's go ahead head to the computer um waiting and taken 120 dollars for that three days left so estimated waste weight is 40 kilograms plastic paper wood glass and metal i think we should bargain because at the moment we've only got access to recycled paper as far as i know um we've only got 500 dollars in the top right so yeah i think we should bargain so i think we should offer 100 give me 120 all of them are yours i'm gonna go off you 100 let's see what they come back with deal 100 it is perfect okay so we will deal with 100 offer is taken so let's um head out and get this lot recycled and see how much money we make so get into your truck and move to the scrap area all right so we actually have to get in it and travel somewhere um okay so there's not so there's so much waste start with small ones gather some small waste oh okay so we drive our truck to the location and then we have to clean up the scrap so let's grab that um ah so we have to manually put them in there so that's pretty cool um smaller items we really looks like we just grab into a bag which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and get all of this done so we'll throw that in there and we'll go ahead and grab all of this small little bits of scrap and we should really probably focus on just paper considering we only have a paper machine um but we're going to grab it all and see what we can do ah Apparently our trash bag is full, so we can drop that and we can throw it in. Oh, that was close. We will get it in there. Perfect. I say that was a pretty good shot if you ask me. So let's go ahead and grab all of this scrap over here. See if we can get one from here. Oh, no. Don't think my aim as is as good as I think it is, um, but we'll get there. So yeah, I think we should just basically make the most of what we're paid for and just grab it all. Um, Oh, that flew a bit higher than i thought it would so at this moment in time we are 61 percent complete of the area um doesn't look like i've got much more so i'm not sure why it's only 61 percent um but that did go up five percent just that one little item and i knew you was going to do that how annoying is that that oh we have got a few more that side that's not all right that's not too bad then i thought it was gonna be really annoying and just leave me with one item after my trash bag being full which is kind of annoying but there we go um believe that should be pretty much everything uh, we've got this little bit here and that i think is everything is it let's drop this bag and put that in and yeah there we go 100 percent so let's get back and start recycling these items okay so put the waste that you gathered to the conveyor belt in the front of the truck's body and let them go inside the sorting machine okay so the bigger items we put down here onto the conveyor belt we should be able to do this pretty quickly from here. Um, start the sorter machine. I don't want to start the sorter machine yet. I want to get all of this lot out first, just because I think it will be easier. And we're going to go ahead and chuck all this lot on here. Okay, so now we can start the sorter machine. Um, start sorter machine. Throw waste and crit holes with your mouse. Oh, okay. So we've got a little mini game here. See how quick we can do this. Plus one scrap. Not sure what that is all about. Um oh my god this is going to be a bit difficult now oh no we missed a load there um this is actually more difficult than i thought it was going to be it's definitely definitely more difficult than i thought it was going to be 
I am starting to panic now. Um, it's all kind of just jumping up. I'm glad it is all jumping up though, and it's not just, um, you know, I'm actually missing the opportunity to um, gather these bits of scrap. That would be kind of awkward. Because they all kind of come up at once. Now I understand why we should have probably taken our time a little bit. Oh, there's a shiny thing here. That was kind of um, a bit misleading. Okay, so bonus scraps. We got 2.8 kilograms bonus for combinations. That's kind of cool. So grab the sorted waste box, the blue one for paper. Throw it in the correct machine's entrance. Oh, okay. So we use the sorting machine and we distribute them and then we grab our boxes and we can utilize the machines that we buy and recycle them so that's pretty cool okay so we'll just empty that into there get to the control panel machine and put the products in the production line and start the machine must click the run machine button so press the papers ah so we can just kind of um not really sure how this is working let's just start again um okay so we've got 10.3 in paper parts this doesn't change so if we put that into there that's 20 oh okay so we need to basically just do 10 in there and we have a little bit left over but we can run that and then we can um watch it pop out the other end i guess yeah so there we go we've got press papers one kilogram of each um do we well we should have put a pallet down first shouldn't we that's kind of awkward oh well i guess we'll put these on a pallet oh that that is a, a very nice feature that once you put one down as long as you're in range it will automatically pick up the next one do kind of like that that is kind of cool um we'll put that down and then i guess we'll just need to grab the pallet truck so let's carry other sort of weight boxes to storage while the machine produces the products oh okay so we can grab these and put them into storage until we've got the necessary machines oh well, that is pretty cool okay i like that idea that's that's a very cool idea that we can do that so we'll place these down um okay so g to place we'll place them down over here i think in a nice organized manner ready for when we actually purchase a new machine that's kind of cool can we grab it from there and be cheeky if we can that will do very nicely and uh, we'll just rotate this round and then i guess we'll use our pallet truck to pick up that pallet of all the recycled paper and then assume possibly we might have to put that um possibly in our truck or something grab the pallet from the pallet stack and put it near the output side of the machine um i've kind of already done that but okay so we can load our pallet um i reckon if we do that for the next time hopefully it should auto stack um but we shall see to so load the pallet with products we have kind of already done that but yeah okay so let's just put these back on there so use the pallet track and carry the pallet to the storage area okay let's go ahead and grab our pallet oh kind of misjudged that one i'm kind of a bit stuck now um really not good at kind of deciding where to put this thing oh okay so you just click it and that should pull it on so enter the marketplace on your computer and inspect offers for your product or wastes find a suitable offer and sell your products oh Okay, so that's pretty cool. So let's exit that. Let's head back to the office and we'll try and sell our waste paper and see how much money we've made. Um, marketplace. Okay, so pressed paper we want there. And it looks like we've got a high demand. Sam's offer 21 price is six. Um, and we have 10 in storage. So if we go 10, we own 60. So sell those. There we go. To fill high value orders, open your computer, click the contracts button to find custom demands for recycled materials. Contracts have time li limits. Okay, so we need to go all oh, contracts. Okay, I see. So plenty of paper. We have got a paper machine, so it's probably worth doing that. Okay, so here it says market price 160 and 240. So I'm not really sure um, if that's actually worth it. I mean, the market price is 160, so we kind of want to go lower than that to make a profit, I believe. Um, so if we go for 150, that's only a ten dollar profit, but asking for two forty, I believe. So it's kind of a big jump. I'm not sure what I'm going to say back. Oh, okay. We expect timely completion at one hundred fifty. Now that I'm very surprised. I wish I'd gone a little bit lower now. Um, but there we go. So we need pressed papers, and we've got ten days to complete our order. So now we need to look at the scrap deals and see. So buy and build a new machine to expand your product range okay so back onto the computer i guess we go to the store um oh okay so they mm -hmm. okay i've just realized i've made a massive mistake so i'm pretty sure we didn't have that much money 
I'm pretty sure we only had like 400 um, or something like that. I'm not sure where all this money has actually come from. I'm not sure how the contract worked, whether they paid us for the contract. So we kind of took a loss on that one. Um, I'm not too sure. That's probably why they accepted it, to be honest. I probably got that completely wrong. But let's have a look and see what we have here. So we've got a shredded machine for plastic, uh, metal as well. I kind of want to upgrade to this one here, the paper pressing machine. Um, but let's go ahead and do the plastic. We can possibly make a little bit more money back. So let's go ahead and hopefully place that machine as well over here and we can kind of put a pallet behind and we can get rid of the plastic so we're going to build this machine and we're going to pop it just here and try and get it in line with the other one perfect okay so open your computer and hiring sorting worker from the next section cool um we'll place that there hopefully they will auto stack i'm interested to see if that will work so hire a sorting worker so we're going to go to staff and we're going to hire him daily wage 20 um he has got three stars that's not too bad um so we should find him now by the sorting machine um yep looks like he's arriving so go to bed and sleep to pass the day anytime you want new contracts and scrap deals will become available after you sleep okay so once we're done the scrap deals for one day we need to basically sleep for the next day okay so daily balance is minus 563 so we took a massive hit that day but we have bought some more machines so hopefully it will all be worth it in the end to take a little bit of a cut that day um now we've only got nine days for the contract so i think we need to go ahead and close this we need to go and find a scrap deal maybe we can find a couple that we can go through now we have oh massive amounts of paper which is exactly what we need so I think we should definitely bargain for this one. Um, I want to go cheeky and go for 120. I'm going to go pretty low. I'm going to see what happens. Oh, okay. They agreed. Perfect. This should be a nice little deal then. So we're going to go ahead and grab that deal. I'm going to go ahead and get a whole load of paper. Hopefully we can get enough paper. Um, I think the last one's only 20% and this was like 60%. So I think we should be doing a pretty good deal there. So we're going to go ahead and grab all of this paper up. And we'll head back to the recycling center. That was a nearly, nearly a good shot. Not quite there though. Um, oh, our bag's full. Okay, and there we are. We are complete 100%. So let's head back and get all this paper recycled. Hopefully we have enough over here. So we have a guy on our sorting machine. So hopefully he will do what he's required to do. Or oh, is he going to empty this for me as well? What a legend. Can you just uh, hopefully you do the sort machine or do i have to still manually sort it and play that mini game because i'm not really looking forward to that i didn't do a very good job last time but i'm willing to give it another try see if we can succeed a little bit better okay let's see what he does let's see if he manually goes to the sorting machine there is no boxes down here which is a little bit disturbing um let's just try it anyway so yeah i think he just sort wastes ah perfect okay so he can do it even better i like that aha uh -huh. so the boxes magically appear that's cool okay so let's get rid of this paper and then we can also get rid of this plastic as well um so let's go ahead and place that in there i'm going to place this plastic just for a little bit of extra money we'll go and grab this one over here as well and I guess we'll have to put these into storage. So we'll quickly just put these back into our storage over here. Um, we probably don't need to. We can probably let it fill up. But I'm not too sure I want to take that gamble. So we're going to put them over here until we've got the necessary machines. To be honest, we probably could buy another machine up before 500. Um, it might be worth doing just so we can make a little bit more money and get some more machines so we don't have to put these into storage. Maybe that will be something worth looking at. First, we're going to see if we can figure out what we have the most of. So we've got about 16 kilos there. Um, we've got a little bit there. We've got loads of glass. So I think glass is probably the best machine to buy. Um, we seem to have a lot of it. Although let's have a look at the next contract and see what we have. So we've got plastic contract there, which is fine. Let's see what scrap deals we've got. So we've got one here, which is 59% uh, wood. And then we've also got glass on this one. So yeah, okay. I think maybe we should... Oh, what's this? Factory? Stage one. Upgrade borders to a larger factory. I don't think we necessarily need that just yet. Um, I think we should go for glass. We're going to buy glass. We're going to spend big again this day. And hopefully... Um, I don't think we'll make another profit again today. But we have just bought a machine. But hopefully, very shortly, we should be able to make 
quite a little bit more money. So we're going to go ahead and place this machine here. And we're going to grab a palette and we're going to place this palette down here as well. Uh, we want it a little bit closer. That would do. So let's go ahead and pop our glass in here. And hopefully we can just try and make up for the amount of money we have just spent. So let's go ahead and glass dust. Um, 22 kilos, I think going to be uh 23 we'll see if we can go for 23 we'll run it and then we'll do the same as the other one hopefully that will auto stack i'm not sure it's actually going to auto stack but we shall see so we want 15 kilograms of plastic we'll run that uh, we'll run that okay and paper okay it's getting a little bit noisy might have to alter the game sound it's oh my god what um I think putting the pallet underneath was an extremely bad idea. Um, we've kind of got a blockage. I need to sort this out first. It's not going to end well if I don't sort this out. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll just quickly put all this nicely. There we go. Okay, I think crisis is averted there. So that's good. Um, we've kind of got an issue here as well. Oh, um, it's all going wrong now. So note to self, don't put pallets underneath. It's not a very clever idea. So I think we should just move this pallet out the way. I think that might be the cleverest idea um so it looks like oh, we've got just under 50 so yeah we've got plenty for this contract which is pretty good so we'll go up to 50 and yes yeah, you can type the number in instead of clicking continuously should know should have known that all along really shouldn't i so let's go ahead while that's doing that we'll grab our pallet truck we'll go ahead and grab these pallets and put them into storage but yeah so far i do really like this game it's um very relaxing so this is where i start but it's kind of therapeutic as well you know organizing stuff and doing recycling it's all pretty good i definitely enjoy games like this and if you enjoy watching these as well let me know down in the comments below um, any recommendations or what ones you want me to try out that I haven't tried out on, on the, the channel? I'll be definitely excited to try some more of these types of games. Um, looks like we're causing a massive issue there with our paper. Um, I kind of should be putting that on a pallet as it's sort of producing. Um, but there we go. We will learn our lesson eventually, maybe one day. I wonder if we can connect this to the pallet and then continue to um, stack stuff onto the pallet while our pallet truck is already on it because that will be pretty cool if we can will save us a little bit of trip that's perfect okay so it does work so we can only fit 24 on this pallet um so there we go so we need to throw this over here um we need to move this pallet okay and then i believe we've got maybe one or two more pallets that we're going to need it's not too much of an issue um i really need to learn to drive this thing there we go so we'll exit that we'll grab another pallet over here and we'll just go ahead and chuck this slot on here and are we going to have enough no we've got one extra left over that is really quite annoying so we'll just pop that down and we'll stick a pallet here i think and we'll just pop that one on there and we'll grab our pallet truck and then yeah we'll see how much money we've made today probably not a lot because obviously we did spend a lot buying the other machine but hopefully we've made a little bit of money okay so let's head back to the office and um, sell all of this waste and we'll see how we do so contracts first of all so we've got here um oh we've got another one here for 348 so taken um delivery perfect okay so that one's done um and waiting so we've got plastics i'm not sure how much plastic we actually have um but this seems like a pretty good deal so we've got 14 in plastic storage 16 paper um that is wood which we haven't got anything in storage um we've got glass bottles here okay so we've got 22 glass dust I think what we should do is we should do the plastic ones. So I'm going to bargain off a little bit more. We're going to keep an eye on the price now. So we've got 287. Um, so we're going to enter 250. And if we accept the offer, I'm wondering if they pay us for the contract, which I assume so because we're recycling it and we're delivering it. Um, so I'm not sure what I was thinking offering that lower price last time. It seems like um, 
kind of stupid so we have taken that deal okay so we haven't received any money yet so i believe that's how that works but i'm not entirely sure so we can give it this paper we was going to sell the plastic but obviously we want to keep that now for our contract so we can sell the rest of this paper um we have demand 24 here um market price is five we want to go for the higher one so we've got 16 there so we can sell that for 96 um so now we've got 383 so we should end up with 630 once we've completed the contract, I believe. Um, but yeah, we've lost a little bit of money this time round, but not a massive amount. Um, or oh, actually, we could sell the glass dust, couldn't we, as well? We have got some glass dust that we can sell. So let's go ahead and glass dust. Oh, Jessica's offering seven. So let's go ahead and sell that for 119. Um, no, we've got 22 of those. Okay, so demand is 17, so that's the maximum that they will accept, basically. So we can do that, and then I think what we can do is possibly go ahead and just give them five there. So okay, we've got 527, so we could buy another machine, but that'll leave us with pretty much nothing which I don't think would be very clever to do. So now we've got 527. Once the contract's complete, we should have near enough just under 800. But I'm not sure. But yeah, yeah we've lost, lost a little bit of money this time round, but not a massive amount. We made a loss of 275, which isn't too bad considering that we actually spent 665 today. So we've made a little bit of a profit. So that's pretty good. Or well, not profit, should I say, but we've made a little bit of our losses back. So day three, uh, we have three days left for our plastics. That's really, really going to be cutting it fine. Um, apparently we've lost some money as well, for some reason, not really sure. Um, or oh, we can hire, we've got a one star here. So a sorting worker, of one star. Uh, he might be better because he's going to be quicker, I believe. Not entirely sure, but we've got two sorters now, um, which I think will work pretty well. I'm not sure if it's going to make a massive difference having two of them. Um, but let's go ahead and find our scrap deals. So we need plastics is what we ideally need. Perfect. We have one here with a whole load of plastic. Um, so we are going to go for... Oh, it has got loads of paper in that coffee shop and it's very cheap as well. So we might have to possibly do that at some point. So 168. Um, I'm feeling really cheeky. I'm going to go for 120. I'm going to try and make a maximum amount of profit on this one. 154. Um, 140, maybe. 140, that would do. Okay, we've knocked him down $28. So that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go ahead and we should be able to smoothly do this uh, very quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and travel and collect all of our, our rubbish over here. See what we have. Oh, okay, this is a pretty big site. Um, it's probably going to take a little bit longer than I thought. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get this done. We'll just do room by room, I think. We'll do all the small items first that we can kind of just pick up. And then we'll get rid of all of the bigger items. Probably going to be the best way to do it. Okay, so we have a full bag. So we'll just work our way. Clean all of this lot. Okay, so I've just finished cleaning the downstairs and I found this door. Apparently, we need a lockpick to access it. So potentially we can find a lockpick and maybe there's something hidden inside. Uh, but let's continue. I'm searching upstairs. Sorry, what exactly are you sorry for? Are you sorry for spray painting the wall? Or are you just sorry in general um it looks like we've got up here to do as well still no signs of a lock pick whether you we have to buy one from the store or something like that i'm not entirely sure just trying to look around and see if we can see anything obvious the opportunity for the nice little trick shots over here we've got some bolt cutters over here as well and a chain better go and explore that and see if there's anything there that we can use to gain access to the door i can't seem to see a lock pick anywhere to be honest but anyway, let's go ahead, get all this tidied up, and we'll go from there. But first of all, we're going to try and do a nice little trick shot from here. Oh, that was a shot. I think I deserve a medal for that one. Should we, can we go for two in a row? Oh, yeah, I think that counts. That counts, doesn't it? Must do, surely. I think that was a pretty good shot. Anyway, enough mucking around. We've got a job to do, and we've got a very small time window to do it in. So we better get this lot done. We've only got three days, but three to three... Oh yes, three, four, three. Okay, let's get this floor tidied up and get it all done. Sorry, I had to do it again. You know how it is. Now, 
now you have to say you're pretty impressed that i managed to throw every single thing um from out here and actually get it in the first time i think that was pretty impressive if i do say so myself not to um you know blow my own trumpet too much but that was pretty impressive but anyway now back to serious business so sorter machine sort wastes there's no waste in the sort machine that's very true <laughs> um i can't remember what one out the better stats let's just go and double check because i want to make sure i pick the right one to do the sorting because i'm pretty sure obviously when i was sorting it myself you had a bonus so it is max so we want max to carry on with the sorting so we could give a hand or we could just watch these guys do it um I think I'll give a hand. I won't be too lazy. That is a little bit out of order if I do that. So we're going to go ahead and give these guys a hand. I am a bit of a hard grafter myself. So although I've got employees, um, I do like to offer a hand a little bit. And plus, I'm 10 times quicker than these guys are. They seem to be definitely taking their time, to say the least. But it's okay, as long as the job gets done. I'm not sure what happened there. We want Max to sort the wastes. Hopefully we get some bonuses. We shall see. Don't mind me. I'm just having a sip of coffee. You know how it is. I'm going to leave these ones here that aren't very full just to see what happens. Um, so we've got glass. So we'll empty that into there. And we also need plastic is our main priority. Um, so I think what we should do is definitely get that on the go. Let's see what we've got here. 41. Um, so we'll go for 40. There we go. Um, keep forgetting to press that one so we'll get the plastics processing will actually give us plenty because we only need 30 kilos and we've got 40 there um these ones here aren't really that full so i'm going to leave them there just to see what happens i'm not exactly sure if they'll just continue filling up until they're completely full so we have 26 so we'll definitely process that into glass dust and um, we've got this one here for paper we'll pop that one there for plastic and we'll pop this one over here for glass so let's go ahead and get this plastic on board okay so we are getting there very slowly yeah we've got plenty of for these plastics to get on this pallet so four more there we go so we've got a full pallet of plastic and um, we'll just pop these on here as well otherwise everything's going to get a bit blocked up okay so glass is done uh, we are going to need another pallet for plastic um we're just gonna pop this over here for now just because i'm a little bit lazy i just want to do that okay so oh we've got a load of plastic over there as well completely forgot about that spare pallet over there that we had anyway let's go ahead and pop this into storage nice little bit of reverse park in there and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this pallet and we're gonna take this pallet over here and transfer all the plastic onto it so let's go ahead and chuck all of this on here perfect we can put the paper back on there and we can put this plastic over here as well and then what we also want to do is grab the glass because we do want to make a little bit of profit over here today um although the glass palette isn't full so what i might do is leave that there actually might be the way to go so let's go ahead and we can finish off this contract and we could buy another machine but i think what i'm going to do is save a little bit of money first so contract taken and delivery so 250 so yeah so we're kind of bargaining for the amount of money we want to receive for completing the contract which is pretty cool so we've got 25 in storage of plastic so we could do another one so it is very tempting because that won't take a, a long time at all to complete um we should be able to complete that pretty easily so let's go ahead see if we can bargain for a little bit more should we go should we push our luck for 300 257 what about 260 we'll go a little bit more i mean surely if you're offering 257 okay perfect okay so 260 we can do that contract we've got five days to get five kilograms of plastic that seems really easy to do to me so we've got a reputation level there which is pretty good do we want to purchase another machine um for the wood and the metal or do we not not just yet let's go ahead and see what scrap deals we have we have a very good scrap deal for some paper we do need plastic and also that has got a chunk of metal in it which might be worth doing just even though we haven't got a machine for the metal yet it might be worth doing just so we can 
complete this contract and then we can buy the metal machine and process all of this metal. I think this might be a good idea. It's got 18% plastic. Um, we only need five kilograms of plastic. It's the one with the most plastic in it. So I think we should offer 120. We should get this one done and processed. Nice price, agreed, perfect. So we can do multiple scrap deals in one day. So I think it's definitely worth doing this. We're gonna nip out, quickly do this and process these materials. Okay, so here we are at the coffee shop again. So we've got a little bit of a task on our hands. So we're gonna go ahead and get this done. Okay, so I was clearing up this obviously old coffee shop and we need a lockpick for this door where there's a load of stuff that i need someone can obviously go in there in the corner um i also noticed as well we have a couple of more things in here we've got a cash register which apparently we need a lockpick for so another way to earn a little bit of money and we've also got some sort of crate here which we need a crowbar but i haven't actually got access to any of that yet um i've explored the premises and can't seem to find one so maybe it's something we can purchase in the shop and some extra tools so we can earn a little bit of extra money so i'm a little bit confused because we can't see we're at 99 percent because the rest of it's all in that room that's locked away um but we have got all the plastic so that's all that kind of matters at this moment in time just a little bit of wood waste so we're going to head back and we're just going to recycle all of this stuff it's been a very long day but it's been a very productive day okay so i had a little issue with the webcam so it might look a little bit different but that's just because i'm using a different one my other one was kind of having some issues as you probably saw in the video but nonetheless um unfortunately yeah the game was running a little bit so we've kind of reached the end of the day now um i believe did we get a chance to sort this out um we didn't but let's go ahead and see if we can quickly sort all of this mess out might need to turn on our torch now so let's go ahead and get all of this like emptied we'll get one of these guys to sort the waste out in the meantime while we finish grabbing all of this lot and hopefully everything should be pretty good and sorted should have enough plastic to um finish the day off quite nicely so yeah i think this is actually continued to um fill up these storage boxes which is pretty good i'm happy about that we've got plenty of wood as well Let's go ahead and get this plastic recycled. I'm not sure how much these boxes actually hold, um, but we'll leave the rest of them like that just so we can kind of work out how much they do hold. It'll be definitely handy to know. So let's stop clicking buttons and actually type in what we need and we'll run that. And then we'll get all of this lot onto a pallet. Um, hopefully we are 25 out of 30 on that one. Um, so I suppose what we could do actually is just fill this pallet up a little bit manually then hopefully we should be good to go with this contract and then we can sort out but putting this lot on a pallet um after we sort this contract out so let's go ahead put those onto there that's one pallet full and now we can pretty much basically put this lot onto a pallet okay so it looks like we're good there so let's go ahead and get this contract done and then we should have a little bit more money then to buy another machine which i'm definitely looking forward to Let's go ahead and deliver that. So made a little bit more profit that day. And I think we should just sleep for the day. And um, we'll see what other scrap deals on contracts we have going on. Okay, so let's head off to bed. We'll sleep for the day. We'll see how much money we have made on day three. So yeah, we've made a nice little profit of 184. Okay, so I think our next task is to basically purchase all the machines. We're going to try and go ahead and get them all purchased. So I think wood will be next because we've got plenty of wood um, ready for recycling. We also kind of do need metal as well. Let's see what contracts we have available. So we've got five for wood and um, we do have glass as well. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. So wooden box um, and MDF boards. I'm not exactly sure what uh, this wood one does take. So crushing machine. I'm not entirely sure what that's going to produce, uh, which doesn't really help. I'm guessing it will just go into sawdust, I assume. And then we can make them into things like that. I reckon we can get this contract done as soon as we buy the machine. So we're going to bargain and we're going to go for 300. We're going to go big on this one. Let's see. Uh, 229. Oh, I want a little bit more. Let's go 250. See if they accept the offer for 250. Are you going to? Yes. Okay. So perfect. We will accept that deal. 
and we're going to go ahead and buy the wood machine here and see what scrap deals we've got so we haven't got many for wood um last day for these two here we've got load here for paper um which possibly might be good to do um that should be nice and simple and easy to do i think we should just go for that one so we're going to go for bargain we're going to offer 75 want to make maximum profit out of this one as it is only paper and we haven't got any contracts for paper um 102 uh we'll go for we'll go for 90 i'm gonna knock you down a little bit more i'm sorry but i need to I need to make as much profit as possible okay so we've got a deal for that one and there we go perfect so store did we buy the wood we did buy the wood okay so let's get the wood machine set up um and then we'll head over and grab this paper and then we'll come back and we'll start recycling all of this so we're gonna go ahead and build this wood machine just over here perfect okay um yeah we have a load of wood over here as well so we might as well get rid of all of this into our machine to start with that can start processing and we're near enough on our 30 altogether now anyway so we'll just grab this i think we should just get the contract done and then maybe we can find we can get another contract for paper that might be the way to do it so sawdust we have 53 kilos so i'm gonna go for the full 53 we're just gonna let that run and in the meantime um what we know we should actually as i said we'll get this contract done and then we'll go ahead and get all this paper um, processed because hopefully, oh, so we can fit 54 onto here, which is actually going to be perfect. But I think that's all we've got. We're going to make a full pallet load out of this, which is actually perfect. Okay, so there we go. We've got a full pallet load over here. So we're going to grab a pallet truck. We're going to get this contract sorted and we should have a little bit more money then. And we can go in, hopefully, like I said, we can find a contract or paper oh that wasn't going very well okay i'll try and maneuver around all of this slot kind of put myself in a sticky situation we might have to actually expand at some point our boxes over here have kind of messed our way out of storage we'll put them back in there so we are very close to the deadline for this contract so it's a good job we did it this way i completely forgot about the deadline um so taken delivery perfect so let's see what we have for paper um we have 368 two days left three days left and one day left on this one market price 270 to 10 i think we should go for the big one we're gonna ask for 400 i think it is a pretty fair deal shall we say um 400 is done so let's go for that deal and we've got a contract for press paper so let's see if we can knock out two contracts in one day so we're going to go ahead and clear out this next section and we're hopefully going to get a whole load of paper so 43 kilos of paper and we need 54 so I might need to, to hurry up with this lot and get it all done. Okay, there we go. Mission complete. That was nice and quick and easy. So let's get back, get this paper recycled, and hopefully we can complete this contract pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and just chuck all this in here. That didn't kind of work very well. Just go up over your heads. There we go. Okay, so where's Max? I want you to sort the waste. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is okay um we've got seven kilos in here or we might i'm not sure if we're actually going to have enough we might have to do another run so i'm going to go ahead and throw this in here uh 50 yeah 50.6 we're not quite there we might have to go ahead and do another run so scrap deals we've got another one here for paper that is perfect okay so we're going to go ahead and get this done and we're going to be on our way but we're going to offer 140 for this one because i'm having to spend money to make money agreed um i'm not really sure if i'm actually going to make any profit off this one uh we should do we should make a fair bit of profit actually on the, this one so i'm going to go ahead and get this done and we will be back shortly so here we are we're back from another trip and we're just in the process of sorting the waste and we should be easily be able to complete this contract of the pressed papers so we're going to go ahead and pop those in there and we should have plenty in here so we've got 92 storage so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop those in and we're going to run them and now we've just got the joys of sorting it all onto a pallet so at this moment in time what we're going to do is we're going to put some pallets over here just so they're easier to get to i think that's going to be the best way to do it we'll wait for that to stack up a bit and we're just going to fill this paper up and put it into storage 
there we go we got three pallet balls of paper which is plenty for the next contract so we're going to go ahead and we're going to complete this contract and we're going to finish a day off there i think seems like that should be a good place to finish off um, we are going to need to buy another machine but if i do that i won't have enough for any more scrap deals but i think that will be the end of the day and i think we're going to leave that episode there if you want to see more of this recycling center simulator which i'm thoroughly enjoying by the way i think it's got a lot more to offer um, we'll probably do another episode of the prologue and then unfortunately we'll have to wait for the game's release but yeah hopefully you have enjoyed this if you have make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and hopefully i will see you in the next episode it's been crimson right here thank you all for watching